Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I'm so happy to be inside today. Uh, it is so cold outside uh, where I live. Uh, you can hear the wind howl. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm glad to be inside making videos and just trying to get organized uh, here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just hanging out at home uh, today. Um, I have a collective haul to show you uh, from Dollar Tree, but before I get into that, I forgot to show you a couple of things that um, Krista, who goes by Crafty Kitty here on YouTube, uh, had given me um, in a swap that we had done. Again, I will link her channel down below. Go check her out. Uh, it, Krista, if you're watching, I do apologize. Uh, <clears throat> but um, this is the uh, first item. Uh, that she had given me. Um, this is a bottle of sequin. Of, uh, I'm not sure if you could see that. They're of a black, tiny, tiny, tiny hearts sequins. So this would be great for Valentine's Day uh, that is coming up, uh, even for Halloween uh, as well, or for anything really. So um, thank you so much, Krista. Um, and, um, she's told me that she found this item, um, in a thrift store, um, and, uh, this is, um, a, uh, a Halloween figure, um, or decor that she had sent my way. Um, it's of a skeleton in front of a tombstone, uh, sitting on top of a... A pumpkin here it says here lies Harry scary so thank you so much uh, Krista um, <clears throat> and the last item she had included is of this keychain um, now when it comes to comic books you guys I am totally clueless I don't collect uh, comic books so um, I've seen some of the Marvel movies and some of the DC uh, movies, or but um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't follow it or I don't um, collect or uh, read comic books. But so I am quite clueless <laughs> with that subject. Um, <clears throat> and um, yeah, like I know the basics, like Superman, Spider Man, and you know. Uh, Wonder Woman and Superman and Batman, you know, um, but um, <clears throat> this is the keychain that she had given me. Uh, this character looks like they're holding a samurai sword. Uh, and she's got like a skull uh, on her shirt here. Um, she's cute, but I have no idea who she is. Um, <clears throat> and, but here on the back, it's uh, DC Comics. So, Krista, if you're watching, can you let me know who this is? I have no clue. <laughs> so, um, and yeah, so on to the haul. Now, I live here in Canada. Um, so, Dollar Tree here in Canada used to be, uh, the prices used to be $1.25. Now, they've raised the prices here as well, just like in the U.S., uh, the prices here, uh, here the, or the price here at uh, Dollar Tree in Canada is now a dollar fifty. So <clears throat> everything has uh, transitioned over to a dollar fifty here in Canada. I believe in the U.S. things used to be a dollar. Now they transition to a dollar twenty-five, like we used to have uh, up here in Canada. So yes, prices are going up everywhere. Um, <clears throat> uh, to be honest, guys, I don't mind paying a dollar fifty uh, at Dollar Tree uh, because uh, when I go to Dollarama, for example, um, prices range anywhere from a dollar to four dollars. So a dollar fifty, I can live with. Um, so <clears throat> this haul is over the course of a few visits with a couple stores. Um, some of these items were purchased just before Christmas. Um, but anyways, um, first item is this, a bottle of acrylic paint in, uh, cotton candy, uh, color. It's of a light pink. Uh, I didn't have any, uh, pink in my stash. 
Um, I figured this would be great for Halloween, past Halloween, Valentine's Day, even for Christmas. Uh, so again, a dollar fifty. So and, our, and it's a pretty color, pretty pink color. So I picked that up. And um, usually in the beginning of the year, the Dollar Tree usually uh, <clears throat> has some organizational um, products out, like bins and so forth. And uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm looking into doing some more organizing of my uh, craft room. And uh, I did pick up a couple bins that they have out now. Um, this is the first bin I had picked up. Um, this was found in the middle of an aisle. Um, and, uh, and I bought four of these. Um, it's orange in color. Uh, I am, a lot of my crafty supplies um, is Halloween related. So I went with orange. Uh, again, a dollar fifty. I will show you guys in a moment what's inside. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so, but yeah, these uh, snap, uh, snap shut. So that is the first container, and I also picked up this container. Um, again, I will show you all the contents inside uh, that I had purchased as well. Uh, I've seen people haul this. Uh, before. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so this comes with a handle. I bought the gray um, uh, version. Um, and these do snap on and off on the side. Um, it is quite uh, deep. Uh, it's a really nice container, very sturdy. Um, I know they have a thinner um, container but I have not seen that as of yet. Um, the other containers that they had were teal in color and I think pink, but I chose the gray. Chose the gray. Um, so yeah, that, those are the containers I had purchased. So now I'm just going to show you what's in what I, um, the other items I purchased. Uh, that is in the orange container here. Uh, they do have their Valentine's Day items out now. Um, the store I went to, there was a girl, uh, she was just putting things out on the shelves. Um, I did not want to really disturb her. Uh, but, um, I think I'm going to go back maybe in a couple weeks. There are a couple Valentine's Day items I would like to pick up, uh, that I can probably use all year round. Um... So anyways, I did pick up these um, two set of these stickers of these and donuts. I thought these were adorable. They're of um, metallic. Um, they're metallic stickers. Uh, these would be great not only for Valentine's Day, but they would be great if you want to do like a coffee uh, themed uh, pocket letter, you know. So... I thought these were adorable, so yeah, I bought two. Maybe one I will give away in uh, some friend mail. Um, and next, uh, in their normal crafty section, um, I picked up a pack of each of these laser cut, um, well they're calling them icons, but these are crosses. I absolutely love these. I thought these were very gothic looking. So I can probably alter these. Um, I do like the gothic uh, aesthetic. Um, so yeah, I'm looking to alter these perhaps and maybe I'll do something with these for my craft room. And I also picked up um, two packs of these book rings. These are the smaller size. This of the uh, bigger size to make tassels with. I'm actually running low of those. Next, um, 
I picked up, the, these are repeat buys for me. I picked up um, two more containers of these in orange to alter. Uh, these are great for Happy Mail. I did alter a couple of these for Halloween last year. They do have a magnet at the back. Uh, they also came in pink. They also come in pink, uh, and I believe a purple, and I think a blue. I'm not sure, but uh, I picked up the orange or the um, peach color, of course, for Halloween. <clears throat> Next, I picked up. I've been I've been seeing this uh, guys for a long time, um, and I always kept putting it down. Uh, I picked up um, finally this pom pom maker. Um, it works really well, actually. I already took it out of the package. Uh, it is very easy to use. They also had um, ones that came in a smaller size, but I just wanted the bigger size. Um, I did make this pom-pom. Uh, it's not perfect, but um, yeah, so I made that using this pom-pom maker, and I know these are usually a lot more expensive at Michael's. Um, and it was only $1.50, so if this breaks, I can always get another one for $1.50. So, yeah, so I made this pom-pom here using, uh, um, uh, some, uh, yarn that I have in my stash here. <clears throat> That's, uh, dual colored. So, yes, in Halloween colors. Um... I think next time if I make uh, pom-poms, I'm going to use like a stronger string to tie everything together. Um, <clears throat> so, but it's not bad for my first pom-pom using this um, pom-pom maker. So, I mean, I could still use this. I can just glue that down. So, and it works really well. So, yeah, I was really happy with that. Um, <clears throat> next, um, again, what's in this container, the, the bigger container, uh, I picked up, again, Valentine's Day related, I picked up uh, a pack of these color your own ornaments. They had different designs, but I chose this design. comes with eight pieces. Uh, next I picked up, um, I picked up, I picked up these, uh, this pack of, uh, um, well, they're calling it ornament filler, um, a little bit after Christmas, uh, so it was on clearance, um, of this, uh, um, <clears throat> I guess ivory color beads, which, to make chunky charms with. Uh, it comes with 80 pieces. Um, I think this was like 60 cents or something. It was really dirt. It was really cheap. So um, and that's the thing with Dollar Tree. Um, Dollar Tree does clearance, whereas uh, Dollarama, for example, does not. They just pack everything away at the end of the season. So, <clears throat> so I picked that up. Um, and at the same time, I picked up. Uh, I finally found the chenille gar garland uh, for Christmas, so I picked up two. I have no idea what to do with these, so but I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out. Uh, perhaps I can make some bows using these. Um, and I know everybody has been looking for these. Um, I was very lucky to find these uh, at the, the one store I was at. Um, so, yes, they are available here in Canada. Uh, the gumball machines for Valentine's Day. So I bought two pink and one red. Um, <clears throat> they do work really well. You can fill these up with anything really like candy. You can fill them up with like 
you can even put a chunky charm in there for a swap you can anything anything that you want so um, yeah and uh, I'll probably be giving one of these away in some happy mail I'm not I haven't decided whether I want to keep the red or the pink um, if I do keep any of them I probably will alter these um, to put in my crafter so yeah so I picked those up and um, I guess in their jewelry section I found um, these bracelets I bought the candy shaped ones before these are the hearts I know I've seen people haul these um, something similar to this from AliExpress so but yeah if you go to Dollar Tree they do have these um, I'm not going to use these for bracelets obviously I'm just going to take them apart and use them in chunky charms and I also bought these ones in the darker color so these hearts really cute um, <clears throat> yeah so that is my haul um, hope everybody's doing well and I will catch you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye now